Okay, so in the first video of Joe, we really owned in on this right shoulder of his. And in this video, we're going to switch it and start looking at the left shoulder here. Joe, unfortunately, has some funky stuff going on at both shoulders, but it's fortunate for us and that it's a nice little learning experience. So I'm going to let Joe go here again on his own without me doing anything for a, a little bit. So what we focused on last time was when he came up that right there, that superior glide. Again, right there, coming up nice and high. What we're going to focus on here is when he comes down, this thing popping out at us right there. So I'll let that go a couple times, and then we'll slow it down here. Give one more here on the way down. Again, right there, coming out at us, okay? So just to reiterate, at the top here, so this is external rotation. You can see this guy gliding up. Or is this is staying steady. Right? And as he comes down, we're going to start talking about this thing poking out at us here. Right? That guy right there, that's that humeral head there poking forward. Because ideally what would be going on here is that humerus, well, we got the humerus and then the humeral head there. Ideally that thing would just be spinning, right? So it would be rotating forward and then be rotating back. But we can tell with Joe that's not happening. Instead, that guy's way down there, right? And as we go here, you may be able to see this humerus it moves away from us a little bit, so it's going back a little bit. And then as he comes forward, it starts coming at us. So maybe you can see it right there coming at you. I'm going to show this in another way in a second there, so don't worry if you don't see it. Especially as he gets lower, so right about... Oops, sorry about that. Let's go back to that. Right as he starts coming here, starts coming at us more. And I still I left it so you could still see that guy poking out a bit there. So it starts coming forward here. That's not down, but that's forward. Okay. And we'll do it one more time. So coming goes away from us and then starts coming at us here. Alright, so the other way we can view this is say we were standing on this side here and we're looking in, right? Roughly what we'd see here is that humerus here. And look at it from this angle now so we can see this guy here. You're looking here now. It starts moving back a bit. So now we're going purely back. And that's posterior glide. And as he comes into internal rotation, which will start happening right here, that thing starts coming forward and forward into some anterior glide right there. Again, I'm exaggerating this. This looks like you know a ton this angle. Well, that's just so we can see it in the video. And it starts coming back. Okay. So, again, ideally here, this guy would just be spinning, right? So as he comes back, slow that down again. As he comes back, we're spinning on up. And as he comes forward, we start spinning on down. But it's just spinning. There's no gliding. There's no dropping of the elbow or anything like that. So we'll let that play at full speed here. It's just going back and forth.
All right, just to show the difference again here. Okay, so green is what we would want, but gray is what's actually happening. So they start out nice and similar, and immediately, if we go back to this side, you can see that elbow dropping here, which is right there. And then that humor starts moving all over the place on them, this guy. Starts gliding back a bit, which again, posterior glide's not usually much of a problem, but there's no need for it here because he should be staying nice and straight here. And then as he starts coming down, starts drifting forward. Okay, Do it one more time there. Comes up, back, comes down, forward there. Right there. Okay, again, like I said, I'm exaggerating that. This looks like a ton, but typically dealing with a few centimeters, maybe an inch or two. Okay, we're gonna talk about one other thing here. We're gonna get rid of the green. So we're gonna talk about only what's happening here. The last thing I wanna show is that usually there's a nice relationship when the elbow here, so the elbow's far away in this view and the humerus is close. When the elbow goes one way, the humerus tends to go the other. So you notice this went back a little bit, but this came forward some. And we'll notice the opposite happens here as he starts coming the other way. As the humerus comes forward, the elbow starts drifting back. See it right about there. Where? Okay. The reason I bring that up is typically, if you want to try to help somebody with this, if you tell them where to keep their elbow, that will usually keep their humerus where you want it. Not always. Sometimes they really need to focus here as well. But the reason I say that is it's typically easier for somebody to understand where to place their elbow than it is for them to understand where to place their humeral head. For most people, they've never even heard of a humeral head. And they maybe remember a humerus because of a joke they heard when they were, you know, a little kid. Alright, so hopefully you got something out of that, and see you in the next one.